Welcome, welcome to the talk show. God is getting ready to do a new thing. He is raising up an army. He is awakening an army right now. I'm telling you, it is powerful. It's coming. It's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to rise up in Christ. It's time for us to be who we are called to be. Look here. It's time for us to truly rise up and be who we are called to be. If you don't know what's going on in this world right now, then you're asleep. And you need to wake up. Because I'm going to tell you right now. This thing that they want us to take is becoming more and more like the Marvel's Beast. They just mandate it to where if you don't have it, they're trying, you can't work. It, that is literally out of the revelations. It's becoming more and more something that if you don't have, you're unable to buy or sell or work. Do you understand what's happening right now? Do you know that they're they're they were actually trying to come after your kids without your permission. Oh yeah. They were trying to maneuver a way to come after your kids and to inject your kids with that without your permission. On school grounds and different places like that. I'm not kidding. This is real, man. This is getting real. And anything they make you take in order to make money in order to work, in order to buy ourselves, that is too close to the scripture revelations. Too close. Another thing I was thinking about too, if you look at the scripture about the mark, it could be the mark of the beast, the number of his name, or the name. So that shows it could be different things. It could be in segments. This could be segment one. You don't know. We don't know for sure. Do you understand? But when it comes so close to scripture. And do you know what the true root of worship is? Come on, man. When you put your trust in something. To the point that you're willing to go against your beliefs, to go against, to, come on, man. We are worshiping this thing that they want us to get as our savior. And anyone who doesn't get it is somehow evil. It's crazy. Wake up, people, man. This could very well be a mark of the beast. I'm not Do I know for sure? No, I do not. But is it too close to biblical scripture? Yes, it is. We have got to wake up, man. And I'm going to tell you something. Hard times are coming. And if it is the mark of the beast, are you going to take it just to keep your job? Are you going to take it just to be able to buy and sell? Are you going to bow before the beast? In the beast system? That's what's being set up right now is the beast system. The beast system is being set up. We have to wake up to this, man. Christians, the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom, Satan's kingdom is being built up right now. And we are hardly doing anything about it. And it's time for us to rise up right now and build up the kingdom of God. It's time for us to rise up right now and preach the gospel with boldness. To do and be who we are called to be. Do you understand? We have to be willing to step out. We have to be willing to proclaim the gospel truth. To build up the kingdom of God everywhere we go. To tear down the kingdom of darkness. To expose these lies. We can't sit here anymore and do nothing. And I don't care if you think I'm crazy. I don't care anymore. Because I'm seeing it roll out right in front of me. And I will be labeled a wacko, whack job. I don't care. I really don't. I will be a fool for Jesus. But I will not bow to this. 
And I'm telling you now, you don't need to either. Because like I said, man, it's too close to scripture. In Revelation, it's about the mark of the beast. We already know the Antichrist spirit is here and prevalent. We already know this. It even said in the thing where Biden uh, mandated it, that the religious beliefs don't matter. That if you try and do that, you will be, I believe it said, uh, disciplined and po and possibly let go. Probably let go. Not possibly. Let go. You will be disciplined. to go. You will go to HR, be disciplined, and be removed from your job. Despite your religious beliefs, despite your medical beliefs, despite what, what you want, it doesn't matter. And this isn't for us. Do you understand that scientists in Israel, and it's been proven, scientists, that the, the infusions that they got going on around here, the, the Moderna, or not Moderna, the Regeneron, and there's different infusions they have. Where they put antibodies in your body to help you fight off the virus. <clears throat> it's been proven that that and natural immunity, which means if you go through COVID naturally, or you go through COVID and you get the antibodies to help you go through naturally, it works twice as best, twice as long, protects you twice as long, and there is no chance of any horrible side effects like the vaccine has there's no metal in it there's no recalls I'm, I'm telling you man they're proving this but all this is for money do you understand how much money they're making off pushing those vaccines on everyone do you understand that big pharma big pharma and our government are hand in hand together and they are making money off each other big pharma is making money off the government mandating it so everybody has to get it and big farm and our government's making money off big farm by helping them out come on man this isn't for us this isn't for our good this is just another form of control this is just a, a, another step closer to what to the antichrist beast system you gotta wake up it, it's coming man you got to wake up you got to wake up and stand in truth. You know, some of us may end up being homeless for Jesus. Some of us may end up being without jobs, without whatever. You know what? They can behead me if they want to. They, they can do whatever they want to me. But I will not bow. I will not take the mark of the beast. I will not worship anything of this world over my father. I will not depend on anything else of this world to save me than Jesus Christ, my living Savior, who lives and dwells within me by the power of his Holy Spirit. Do you understand me? Do you understand that we are worshiping this thing as our Savior? It is coming true before our eyes. It may be only phase one. I don't know. But it could be the thing. Like I said, there's three different parts, parts in the... In the you, the mark, the number of his name, the name. It's too close, man. You gotta wake up, man. Tell me you see this. Tell me you're waking up to it, please. I'm gonna tell you right now, too. If you don't start getting close to God now. If you don't start going after him now, if you don't start falling in love with God now, then when it comes, you're not going to be able to stand. And you may think that taking that thing save your life, but it won't. It won't. I'm telling you. And it makes no logical sense anyway. People are still getting sick with it. Well, they say... <coughs> They say that, okay, yeah, you still get sick, but you're not getting as bad. If you're still getting sick, that means you can still spread it. That means it's not working. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not for our benefit. Did you know that 
They tested it on ferrets, and every one of them died. Come on, man. We got to wake up to the truth. And yeah, some people are taking it and being fine. Some people are taking it and never being the same again. And I'm telling you now, this is not for our benefit. We need to wake up, church. We have got to wake up and see the truth and see what's really happening. And I want you to know, if you don't know Jesus Christ, go after him now before it's too late. Fall in love with him now before it's too late. Because we don't have a lot of time. Not anymore. The time of grace is coming to an end. You have to understand now is the time to seek him with all that you are. To fall in love with him. To go after him. To get to know him. To allow him to know you. To become one with him. To be, be, be reborn in the spirit. So you, so you can strengthen your inner man. You can go after him now. Fall in love with him now. Grow in the spirit now. That way when you're faced with decisions. You're faced with to either bow to this world. Or bow to Jesus Christ. You will be willing to bow to Christ. And be willing to even give your life if you have to. Because if you wait until that moment. it's not You're not going to be strong enough. A baby cannot withstand this. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you right now? You've got to wake up. You, We have got to wake up. I pray for the church in America. I pray for the sleeping giant in America. We have got to wake up, man. And right across the border in Canada, people are being arrested and persecuted for having church. People are being made to take the mark of the beast. Or, or take the vaccine that could be the mark of the beast. Ooh, I said that word. Hope they don't delete this video. The thing. I'm just saying, you guys, man. It's too close. It's too close. And it's even say if it was, this is, this isn't, what if this isn't the thing, okay? It's too close. I don't care, man. I. Don't do it. I'm telling you, stand your ground, man. Look, I, <clears throat> I'm i going through COVID right now. I am. But I've been praying and I've been going after God with all that I am. I've been taking vitamins. I went to the doctor. I got Decatron, antibiotics, uh, inhaler. I got vitamin D, vitamin C. Zinc, uh, magnesium, potassium, all these vitamins I got. I'll, I'll list them. I'll, I'll show them all to you. You can get through this. We can do this by the grace of God. And even if death comes, if you're in Christ, you're His. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, man. We have got to stop letting fear control this body of Christ. It is, they are, that's all they're doing. They are putting out a spirit of fear and condemnation. Fear so you get it. And condemnation if you don't. To make you feel guilty. To guilt trip you into getting it. Why is that? When we were growing up and going to school, they called that peer pressure. They said, don't fall into peer pressure. Come on, man. We need to wake up and see what's really going on. Why are they peer pressuring us into this? Especially if you still get sick when you get it. Especially if the natural immunity and, and the uh, infusions that they have going on work twice and better. Help your body fight it off way better. Come on, man. We got to wake up before it's too late. I love you all. I'm going to start doing more talk videos. I just had to put this one out there. I'm going to start going full force for Jesus. This whole time I'm going through this, why not? I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you.